I am Pratibha. First up, a DCP level departmental inquiry has been initiated to investigate whether the Tulinj and Manikpur police stations made any serious lapses as alleged by the deceased uh, Shraddha's father uh, in the murder case. This comes after a political war of words also broke out between Team Uddhav and Shinde over who is to be held accountable over the lapses from the police's side. Remember back in 2020, Shraddha had written an SOS letter to the Tulinj police over the alleged atrocities by Aftar Punawala, uh, but the police officials failed to act on time. A day later, she withdrew her written complaint on the request of Punawala's parents. And since the police had already delayed taking action by a day and Walker had also withdrawn her written complaint, the police initiated a procedure to wrap up the matter without even taking any action against Poonawala. Now the question remains as to what kept the NBA away from taking strict action against the police officials because of whose negligence a girl had to pay with her life. Uddhav Thakri ji Mukhya Mantri thai. Police ko aapne vasuli ke kaam mein nai dhoya hota. उनको अपना काम ठीक तरह से करने दिया होता तो श्रद्धा की जान बच सकती थी उद्धव ठाकरे समेत उस दौरान जो सरकार थी वे लोग श्रद्धा के हत्या के लिए उतने ही जिम्मेदार हैं श्रद्धा's family is making a grievance in press conference that initially soon after the murder the investigation was not satisfactory and it is only after intervention of Delhi and in coordination with the Vasai police and Delhi police that uh, uh, investigation is yielding fruits. Well, uh, if that be so, then I think the Vasai police is accountable to inaction or failure to discharge their duty in such a brutal case of murder. Well, accusing the Versailles police commissioner of not acting swiftly on his complaints, Vikas Walker, the father of Shraddha, also claimed that if the police officials had acted in time, then his daughter Shraddha, who was killed by her live-in partner in Delhi, may have been alive today. I didn't know that he was killing her. I didn't know that he was killing her. Maybe that's what he was saying in the letter in the police station. नाला सफारा पुलिस स्टेशन में कि उसको ब्लैकमेल किया जा रहा है तो वही कारण हो सकता है वह सही पुलिस वह नाला नाला सफारा पुलिस तोड़ीं पुलिस थाने इन्होंने इन्वेस्टिगेशन में थोड़ी सी दिरंगाई की उस वजह से मेरी बेटी शायद आज जिंदा हो, होती थी आफ्ता पुनावाला ने मेरी बेटी का जिस तरह से मर्डर किया है उस वजह से उसको जैसे मेरे बेटी का कत्ल हुआ है वैसे ही उसको भी शिक्षा होने की मैं अपेक्षा करता हूं उस उसके घर वाले उसके माँ बाप या उसके भाई उन उन सब की जांच होनी चाहिए my colleague Arunil Saradeka joining us live on the broadcast with the details. Arunil, a political face-off took place over whether it was lapses by the police officials responsible for the death of Shraddha Walkar. This was the charge made by her father. Now a departmental inquiry has been ordered with claims coming in that the police officials did not act despite the SOS letter that had been written by Shraddha. Well, immediately after Vikas Walkar Pratibha, uh, Vikas Walkar is the father of Shraddha Walkar. He had taken a press conference and in which he had made this allegation that he felt there were some glaring lapses from the local Tulinj police station and Manikpur police station in Vasai and Nala Supara. And that is why he felt that if they would have acted at that time when Shraddha herself had written a letter, in that letter she had said that she fears and Aftab has been threatening her to kill her 
and also cut her body parts into pieces. Exactly the same thing transpired uh, a couple of years later. The father was saying that if that police station would have acted at that time, there is a big possibility that uh, Sadda would have been alive till now. We had broken this news that Sadanand Date, the local police commissioner, will soon be ordering an inquiry against uh, the uh, uh, Tulinj as well as Manipur police officials. The same thing has been done now. A DCP level investigation has been initiated uh, by uh, the Maharashtra Home Department with respect to the allegations that have been levelled by uh, Mr. Vikas Walkar, the father of Shraddha Walkar, whether there were any glaring errors, whether there were any glaring lapses, and if any wrongdoing has been found in this investigation, then we can expect some uh, proper and appropriate punitive measures against uh, these officers, these uh, policemen from Manipur as well as Tulinj police station. With respect to the political blame game is concerned, the BJP has been blaming the Mahavikas Agadi government saying that when the complaint was written by Shraddha Walkar, uh, the complaint was written when Uddhav Thakre was uh, the chief minister of Maharashtra. All right, uh, Arunil, uh, in fact, this was a charge that had been made by the father who also said that he is happy about the investigation that's currently underway in the case. Uh, but remember the letter that Shraddha Walkar had written back in 2020 in that she had spoken about the kind of threats that she had been receiving. She had written about how uh, Aftab had also threatened to kill her and chop her into pieces and that's exactly what happened uh, two years on. So clearly the police officials, if they had acted, questions have also been raised on the fact that they did not even bring in Aftab for questioning in the matter. Well, that is right. In fact, Shraddha had written this letter two years around close to two years before her death. And in that letter, she has particularly mentioned about the fact that how Aftab used to repeatedly on multiple occasions used to beat her up. He was threatening uh, to kill her. He was threatening to kill her and then uh, cut her body parts into pieces. Exactly the same thing happened. And that is why it is extremely startling to uh, understand the fact that why didn't the local police, Tulinj police station or the police officials take any action against Aftab Punawala. If they would have taken any action, they would have intervened and initiated any kind of an investigation or at least okay. question Aftab Punawala, then picture would have been very different. That's what the Absolutely. father has been saying. And the father is basically blaming the local police officials, whereas with respect to the blame game, like I was pointing out yes. earlier, the BJP has been saying that the Mahavikas Agadi government was in power, CM Uddhav Thakre was in power at that time, so why no action was taken by them? That is Absolutely. the question. In fact, that the, BJP... the BJP also saying that because the accused was after Punawala, that's the reason why the police officials went slow in the case. Thank you for joining us with those details.